is the L1 Element here, and we are going to be installing the Minecraft Custom NPCs mod. So, this mod is a really hard mod to get the hang of. I will be po uh, posting, like, my custom app plays, like, I'm making, I'll post making my custom app. But let's go ahead and install it. So, first off, you want to click on your finder, go to library, application support, and you see this Minecraft folder. Uh, you what you want to do is you want to grab it, put it on your desktop. All right, once that's done, you gotta log out of that. Go back to your Minecraft. You have to log in again. I'll be right back when it is finished. Do click play. It'll start downloading everything, and you basically just have to load Minecraft. And basically, you just downloaded your Minecraft all over again. It may take a while. It took me a little while to do it. So now it's gonna open up your little Minecraft workbench. Head to new little Mojang. Okay, now that is done. Everything is new, so you might have to turn down your settings or whatever. So now, let's go. To, now, once you have a new Minecraft, you can go to Google Chrome. Now, these links will be in the description uh, to get the custom NPCs and Minecraft Forge API. So, what you want to do is you want to go to the, this link right here. Go ahead and go to 1.6.2 Beta. Use it to your own risk. It's not that bad. So we can go to, we can click on that link. Wait for five seconds. Download, all right. Let's skip that, I mean. Okay, now it's gonna be downloading this, custom NPCs 1.6.2. Now you want to go to this link. And so now what you do is you go to uh, download Minecraft Forge API for Minecraft 1.6.2. Click on that. Click Start Download Now. And then AdFly will come up. And uh, you have the same five seconds. Skip Add. You should download. You press Keep. Alright, now grab these, the custom IPCs 1.62.2 file, drag it onto your desktop, and then get the Minecraft Forge installer.jar. And on your desktop. Now you can exit out of Google Chrome or whatever your, your browser is. Okay, now go ahead and hit your finder. Go to library, application support, Minecraft. Now everything is going to be new, so you're not going to have your saves or anything. So now, just to make sure that that's all there. Now what you want to do is you want to go exit out of this, double click on the Minecraft Forge installer.jar, open it. It'll open and it'll have this little cup. And now, if you want a server, you can install server, but if you just want to do single player, you can click install client and then you press OK. Successfully installed client for profile forge for version, whatever, whatever, into the launcher. Now you press OK. Go to your Minecraft 1.6.2. Click the, click, see this little thing here? Click on that. Click forge. Now use your existing user. Now it's on profile forge. Now you click play. It'll open up. Let's open up Minecraft Forge. All right, now when you open it, now when you open it up, it's going to show mods. So. We can go. We can go ahead and delete our Minecraft Forge installer because it works. So now you go to mods. See, these are all your mods there. Now you click done. You can quit your game. Now, while that Forge works, you can go to library, application support, Minecraft again. Now, see everything. Everything is. Um, there's new stuff like Forge mod loader, and so we go to mods. 
drag your custom NPCs 1.6.2 into your mods folder, close Finder, open Minecraft 1.6.2 again, click play. It shall be opening up now. When it opens up, it'll show four mods instead of three mods, so you can tell that it's installed. So, four mods loaded. You can look in your mods. Custom NPCs. Shardy's like a melody in my head that I can't keep out. Got me singing.